so walking to the lake to get my second batch of water I came across this site this is the site I was at two weeks ago and I noticed the score so uh, yeah I'm taking it hey it looks a lot green though but I'm gonna take it see what I can do with it got my next batch of water going there won't take long for that to boil I suppose so it's 4.30 now. I've got the shelter up. There it is. I decided not to put any sides on it. I got firewood there. I've also got the big long tree there. I had enough wood to last me through the night, I'm sure. Got to be. So like I said, I brought the trash bags because my intentions were to break up the leaves on the ground and fill it with leaves to sleep on, but there's no leaves. Well, I went up to the facilities, the bathroom up there, and on my way I noticed there's a whole bunch of tall dead grass. So what I'm going to do is go get a bunch of that tall dead grass, cut it down, fill two or three bags, maybe four, I don't know. It depends on how much it takes to fill a bag. I'm just really concerned about center of mass, my legs. I'm not really that concerned with my hips up to my shoulders. That's what, what concerns me, getting older, sleeping on hard ground, cold ground, not good. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, head up that way. set up there's one bag I'll need three maybe four more so take a break and go get some more there you go I think I got enough tall grass in those bags for bedding for tonight like I said I'm just really worried about my center mass whoo tired 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 it's about 530 now Oh, give you an idea how much sunlight's left. If I have to do it like that, about eight fingers. What's that, about two hours? Oh, did I show you guys these? Ta da! Can't remember if I did or not. Anyways, I made some lanterns for the candles. But he's in there somewhere. Whoop, there he went. I just seen him fly over his tube. He's in this tree. Yeah, I watched him fly over there. I just caught the tail end of him going in. Got my dinner going. Some of that lunch and loaf limitation spam and beef ramen noodles. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do here is. I got these candles. Now, I was wanting to make lanterns out of the cans. But they're just as tall as the cans, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of the can off, split it down the middle, open it up a little bit on each side, hold them out, make a lantern out of them.
so it's starting to get dark. That fire going. Don't know how much more I'll film tonight. Fun day though. Worked my ass off. That's fun. Got out. Got to get some therapy. That's the key thing. Therapy. I'm not sitting in no couch, laying on no couch, talking to somebody. I'm out here sucking up smoke. <coughs> Getting right that way. I would like to say it's peaceful and quiet, but it's not. Got a group of Boy Scouts down by the lake. As much as they may be loud, glad as hell they're out here, though. At least they're out here. Oh, I'm going to end this day. Like I said, it's 7 o'clock. Um, I might shoot my Sunday blessing video tonight. I'm going to lay down and see how much sleep I get. i see you in the morning. Man, I gotta say, these little candle lanterns I made out of those beer cans, they light everything up on the table so I can see where everything is when I want it. I like it. Good idea. Next ones I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make when I'm out here with a uh, tarp with a ridge line. You leave the tops on them, just open up a door in the center of them, then the pool tab on the top. You use that and uh, hang it from the ridge line. Oh, wow, it's morning. It's like 7.30 in the morning. You know all that copious amounts of firewood I had? Yeah, 2 o'clock in the morning, I threw the last log on. I'm really surprised I went through that much wood, but it was cold. It got down to about 42, so it wasn't really that bad. But, I mean, when you're used to sleeping inside, it's cold. Oh. Well, life will be here in another three hours. Pick me up. Totally can't see me anymore, but oh well. She'll be here another three hours to pick me up. So, I'm done, basically. Sit around the littlest campfire possible. Try to warm back up. Drink the rest of my water. Timber. And then... After I take a nap, I didn't sleep at all last night, really. Like, I slept maybe two hours total. As soon as I'd doze off, I'd hear a log fall. I'd have to get up and restoke it. Ooh, I'm tired. Alright, guys, I'll see you on Tuesday for Tuesday's challenge. Oh. This is Tuesday. You already saw Tuesday's challenge. So, so never mind. I'll see you on Thursday for whatever video I decide to upload then. Till then, stay wild. So a lot of people don't realize there was actually a lesson in this ten dollar dollar store 24 hour survival challenge the lesson is you don't have to have top grade gear to get out here and do this stuff you don't have to spend a fortune to get out and enjoy this 
ten dollars. Bought me 24 hours out here. Was it the most comfortable? Nah. Did I enjoy the hell out of it? Every damn minute. Give me plenty of time for reflecting, reprogramming, getting my head right. So, and I'll tell you, I learned this lesson before, back in the day, with these things. Don't become a bushcrafter like a vapor. Some vapors are vape snobs. They have to have all the authentics, the top of the line. Want me? I get the same satisfaction as a tw out, of, out of a $20 mod that you do out of a $200 mod. So, do with what you got and do it the best you can.